All right, I'm at my house and you know, just regular family activities. It's Sunday or Saturday evening. And I have this thought that just kind of smacks me. I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I have to go try that out because it's kind of blowing my mind a little bit. So I went out to the garage and I got a step flashing out of the truck and I got my tin snips and I just blew my own damn mind because that roof hug that I'm so impressed with myself for, I just figured out a, a way to replace it with a much easier, simpler, smoother, cheaper, just like, uh, so it's not really gonna be necessary anymore. But basically I just added an extra bend on the downhill side, which allowed that to be turned at an angle. So now that's just gonna sit in there, basically just like that on a cricket and yeah, I don't need that fancy time consuming roof hug anymore. So my, uh, my thoughts on this is it's actually really hard for me to replace my own idea with something that's better, but like who am I to stand in the way of progress, right? Um, but always be open to new ideas because that idea was actually inspired by someone on one of our crews that's not really the best detail guy. <laughs> and he was just trying to do the best with the stuff he had. And I saw it on, I saw kind of what I did there on one of his roofs where they just kind of smacked the edge of a step flash with a hammer, you know, trying to make it work. And that's what inspired that. So like, no matter who you are, no matter how good you are, no matter what you know, you can always learn something from someone else, no matter how inexperienced they are, or all those factors. Like, everything that I've learned from other people um, like that, I, you just gotta keep your eyes open and, and be willing to adapt and be willing to change. So anyway, you'll probably see some videos in the future about um, a much simpler, much easier way to flash the top of a chimney and a dead valley, etc.